hello friends i welcome you to my youtube channel mcpm so in this video we will solve a numerical problem which is based on the rivet joints so if you are watching this video randomly then i will request you to please go through our playlist and watch from the first video so so you can understand in better way otherwise let's solve this problem two plates of 12 mm thickness are connected by a double riveted cover but double riveted cover but joint using 18 mm diameter rivets at pitch of 8 cm so two plates there are two plates this is one plate and there is another plate these two have to be joined the thickness is 12 this thickness is 12 mm this plate is also 12 mm thick So these two are connected with double riveted double cover. So let's make the cover of these two. This is cover plate one, and this is another cover plate. Okay, and this is double riveted joint. So this is one rivet. this is double rivet okay double riveted joint means two rivet joints each side of the joint so this is the diagram of the rivet joint if you want to draw a top view so this is first plate This is second plate. And uh, this is cover plate. Okay, and these are the rivets. Two row of rivets. there may be many other rivets along this line but we are drawing only three because we have only three space i space for three but main thing is there may be two row only this is first row this is second row okay two row each side there may be more than three in each row okay so what is the pitch pitch is the distance between center of two rivets in same row okay so this is pitch and let's read the question further so that we can get an idea uh, t is equal to 12 mm then double rivetted double cover okay but join using 18 mm diameter rivets so diameter d of rivets is 18 mm this is diameter of rivet p each pitch pitch we uh, i already shown here pitch distance which are in the two center of two rivets in same row so p is equal to 8 centimeter which is 80 mm because one centimeter is equal to 10 mm because, uh, we should keep all the units in the same we cannot use uh, centimeter and mm together we have to convert everything in mm if the ultimate tensile stress in the plate is shearing and bending bearing if stress in the reverse of 460 so sigma t ultimate tensile is 460 newton per mm square sigma s is shearing we can represent it as tau is equal to 320 and sigma c bearing bearing and crushing stress is same so sigma c is 640 newton per mm square these all have unit of newton per mm square find the pool per pitch length at which the joint this is per pitch length okay so 
at joint will fail so we have to find the pull at what will uh, pull joint will fail so for this we have to know in what way joint may fail so joint may fail in three cases first is tearing of plate second is searing of rivets third is crossing of rivet or plate so suppose strength in these cases are in case of tearing strength of the joint is pt this is ps and this is pc okay so we will find these three so what is pt it is tearing strength of the plate so pt will be equal to c first of all uh, let's calculate how many rivets are there in one pitch length see we will see each side of the joint this here is the joint okay so this is the pitch length so see this is half rivet here this is half rivet here this is half rivet and this is half so in one pitch length number of rivets and per pitch length is equal to 4 into half which is equal to 2 so remember this we will use this in for uh, further question in this question further okay so pt will be equal to tensile but what is pt how will this fail due to tearing so see this we have already made made already holes here three holes are present here so this length of the plate will reduce because material present only here 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 and here so plate has become weaker so it may get tear along this line okay so plate may tear along this line so per pitch length in this pitch length this is the pitch length so what is the material which is left in this pitch length from here to here or from here to here okay because pitch length is same for all the all the rivets so this length into thickness of the plate will become area for supporting the tearing strength so sigma t is maximum allowed uh, maximum allowed tensile stress into pitch length minus diameter see pitch length minus d by 2 this is d by 2 this is also d by 2 so d by 2 plus d by 2 is d p minus d into thickness of the plate it will become equal to if we put all the values here then you will get 460 pitch length is 80 minus diameter of the rivet is 18 into thickness of the plate is 12 so it will become pt will be equal to 30 3 4 2 2 0 0 newton so this is strength in case of tearing a flat okay and suppose force is being applied like this so second case is searing ps strength in case of searing so in case of shear what will happen so see this is the joint so suppose this joint is going to be seared so if we see this joint may sear from here this rivet may get seared from these two places okay one rivet from two places so this is double searing if there was one plate then it will be single searing but here see uh, rivets are searing from two places so area of sear will become 2 into area of the rivet okay so ps will be equal to n n into tau maximal of shear stress into m into area so n is the number of rivets per pitch length which is 2 we have calculated here 
into tau is shear stress maximum of shear stress which is equal to 320 into m is number of surfaces of shear so it is double shearing so 2 into area of rivet is pi by 4 into diameter of rivet is 18 so 18 is square because rivets are circular in cross section so if you will calculate it you will get 3 to 5 8 0 0 Newton so this is strength of the joint in case of shear shearing okay now another case is crossing of the plate so if these are two plates connected by a, a rivet then if you apply the pull here here then this rivet may cause crushing the either this rivet may be crushed or this plate may get crushed so what will be the strength in crushing pc is equal to n into number of rivets per pitch into sigma c crushing stress maximum of crushing stress into area of projection area of this circular projection on this wall is equal to diameter is length diameter is the length of this part and thickness is width so diameter into t so it will become equal to 2 into 640 into 18 into thickness is 12 so we will calculate this and we will get 27651 newton so you can see that minimum strength which plate will support in is, it will be in case of crossing so what we have been asked in the question we have been asked find the pull per pitch length at which joint will fail so joint will fail at this load because this is the minimum the plate can support okay so answer is pull is equal to 27650 newton so i hope you understood this value this problem if you have any doubt you can ask in the comment section and if you like this video then please share and subscribe to our channel thanks for watching